Hello, property nomads. Hope you're well. We've got some bad news about nuclear production, and that is that in the last year, a world report shows that nuclear energy production fell by 4%. Now, this isn't very good because, as we've discussed on the channel before, if we're going to make this transition to being more eco, being more green and, and all that sort of stuff, you need to have a baseline energy. Now your baseline, or oh, sorry, base load energy, I should say. Your base load energy at the moment consists uh, majorly of uh, oil, uh, gas, uh, coal as well, and a little bit of nuclear. But in order to be able to facilitate things like solar, wind, uh, you know, geothermal energy production, all of those sorts of things, you want to have a, a different base load energy. Uh, sorry, and if you want to have a greener base load energy, then you should be looking at nuclear because nuclear is the answer. It's a lot greener than oil, it's a lot greener than coal, it's a lot greener than gas. Uh, and that should meet the needs of the eco warriors out there. So the fact this report's come out to say that nuclear share in global electricity production fell by 4% in 2022 is bad. Uh, but it's also its lowest level since the 1980s. And for a world that wants to be more lean, mean and green, th this is a step in the opposite direction. This is really, really not good news. Because as we said, if we're going to have all this solar, all this wind, and we're going to follow through with all these, uh, you know, net zero climate things, then nuclear is the way forward. Uh, but as we're seeing, a lot of countries, especially in Western Europe, are not putting the time, effort and resources into nuclear. And, and they've been neglecting it for, for many, many years. And nuclear is the answer. I said in our predictions for 2023 that more people would wake up to nuclear. And I think that more people ha are starting to wake up to nuclear, but not at the amount that we we need to wake up to. So it's really sad to see this article. It's really sad to see that the percentage has fallen and, and things like this. It says for the first half of 2023, there were apparently 407 reactors in operation across just 32 countries. Uh, that represents a decline of four operating reactors from the previous year and a decline of 31 operating reactors from a decade ago. So nuclear is regressing. At the time when nuclear needs to be moving in the opposite direction, it's regressing. Why? Because we've had decades of underfunding nuclear. You know, even from a government level, you need to be contrarian. So when everyone's, you know, talking oil, gas and, and whatever, even all governments need to be looking at something different and going, okay, well, let's keep let's keep going in nuclear. Now, the issue we have in, in the UK is that the Blair government in the late 90s, they, 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 there's a lot of shady stuff going on, botched a few deals here and there, um, but they basically pulled the plug on nuclear. And we're, we're now seeing the effects of that 25, 26 years later. Whereas if we had just kept ticking along in nuclear, maybe we'd have more energy security here in the UK. The thing as a lot of people will tell you about energy markets, is it's not easy to change the supply. Um, it's just not easy to change the supply on, 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 a, on a macro level, especially if you're looking to generate more. This is why when people talk about mining, people talk about increasing the amount of nuclear, you know, it, you don't just do that with a click of your finger. The, these things can take years to, to get going and by then it's already too late. So quite a depressing article, uh, for, again, for a world that wants to go more greener, leaner and meaner, uh, it's a step in the wrong direction, uh, the fact that uh, nuclear energy production fell by 4% last year. No bueno, as I like to say. Uh, thank you for listening to Property Nomads. Uh, please do us a small favour and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're finding that because of the variety of content we're putting out and for yourselves that are actually subscribing, um, it's really making a difference to the channel so the, really thank you for doing that so please go and subscribe uh, and if you want different content and you want more property content uh, head over to property nomads podcast uh, we do a lot of different content 
over there. It's on iTunes, Spotify, various other podcast platforms. So please do go and subscribe to the podcast as well. Uh, thank you very much. We will see you in the next video.